Hello, everyone. So the weather's holding out. I'm okay. I could see all your comments, but I was in the back talking to Lynn and Amber and Kathy. They are our guests tonight. <laughs> Hello, girls. Hi. Um, we're so excited that you're here and you're helping us celebrate the 100th episode. Kind of yeah. exciting, right? Yeah, very yes. exciting. How long have you been Hardys? Since the very start. Very yeah, start. Originally. I saw from day one, never missed it. Cried my eyes out, laughed my eyes out, laughed my eyes out, <laughs> left my head off. Laughed, um, laughed your heart off. Fans of the book first, any of the book series? Or? Actually, no, I started to get back. I went to the library. We're big library fans, so yeah. I'm always finding <laughs> some sort of homework book at the library. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I've read a number of them, but I love the show. I love it. Love it. Favorite. Yeah. Well, we're happy you're here. So, your names are Lynn and Amber, but I know you as Cookie D uh, Dough Lights, which I thought was so cute. Like yeah. instead of Dough Lights, it's Dough Lights. I yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah. And I found you on Instagram and I'm like, they must come on, especially for something that's a celebration. So um, because the cookies like are part of the celebration, I was constantly posting recipes for snacks. And I was like, oh, if everybody could get their hands on these and eat these during the 100th episode, that Aww. would be so great. Yeah, great. <laughs> Beautiful. So Thank tell you. us about how'd you even get started doing this? It, <laughs> it kind of just happened, yeah. really. I, yeah, I, I was making cakes when before she was born. And then when they became born, my three girl, my three kids were born. I couldn't do cakes. They throw balls around and stuff like that. Okay. I'm so afraid. <laughs> but um, at, when COVID happened, Amber was a senior in high school and she couldn't graduate. She had to come out in April, was it? Because of COVID, they stopped. Yeah, they, yeah, they, but all her classes seem to all seem to work towards a bakery. Well, yeah. And so what happened is mom was talking about wanting to make these cookies for such a long time. And I was like, mom, just do it. You know, just go and do it. You know? Yeah. And um, one day I came home from school and I don't know why I remember it so clearly, but I came from, from school. She was making Valentine's Day cookies and she's like, you should try it with me. And I was like, no, mom, I don't want to do it. You know, it's okay. You can do it. And she goes, no, no, come just try it. And so I tried it and I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. And, uh, and then after that day, we, we just started playing. Making, yeah. Playing. We were just for... playing around and we just kept playing. And then we sat down, tried to make a logo, tried to come up with a name for fun. We weren't even being serious about it. Mm -hmm. And that, that um, is how it started. But for me, at least um, before this, like she was saying with my school, my classes before, like I was in my first semester of my senior year. I, and um, I realized once the end of the semester started coming, I was like, I don't really want to keep my classes for my second semester. And so all my friends were like, you're being stupid. You know, you need to have something for college. I'm like, guys, I don't know why. I just want to get rid of all of them. So I went to my counselor. I dropped all of them. And the three that I kept really were photography, culinary, and sales. And that's everything that I needed for this cookie business that we have right now. And we didn't even start that until a couple months later. Yeah. So, And the clincher was our neighbor gave us a free KitchenAid. And I looked at Amber. I said, it's a sign. On your we're birthday. Doing, on my birthday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're like, oh. let's try it. So we were doing it for family and friends. And then all of a sudden people were asking for cookies. And a year later, this is where we're at. Oh my gosh. And, and they're gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. you. So how did you come up with the name? Cause it's so cute. <laughs> the name was also a really big process that yeah. we, we didn't, it all just came together. We really. had 30,000 names, but when you go online, everybody had the names we thought of. Yeah. So we kept thinking, well, I like to play on the name, the dough, the mm -hmm. light, you know, and she's like, no. And I'm like, whatever. So we had, we wound up just taking it cause no one else had it. <laughs> Well, and you said delight in the Lord. Oh yeah, delight so, in the Lord. And but we will didn't give you want your heart's but, desire. Yeah, a yeah. lot I of people, that quote. Yes, yeah. you have your quote up, which is beautiful. I love that. I'm sorry. Yeah, and a lot of people had delight like in their name, but we wanted it to be different. So still have it, but with a twist. So yeah, delight. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, God just gave us this. So 
He's getting it. <laughs> yes. I mean, really? No, really. That's exactly what was yeah. happening when you're saying how you had the passion or the feeling to the, like, let me change my course. Yeah. Like that's pretty brave. That could be very scary. And then yeah. look where it goes. I yeah. Love yeah. It. We have no idea where it's going to go. And then this mm -hmm. one calls the heart thing came on. She kept pushing me to do this. Yeah. And because last year I made some one calls the heart cookies. I tried to make one. This one of, uh, uh, oh, wait. Here. Oh, we love that. But that one didn't turn out so good. And I said, I'm not going to post these. These yeah, look terrible. And then I tried this to one do, that's an old version. Old so, version. so Amber said, go on, do them all over again. But they're really simple versions. So I said, let's do it and make them really better. So we did and it. And you did. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. So the, the cookies they were just showing now are the older cookies, but oh, if you yeah. go on their account, because I don't right. think they saw them or anybody else that's here, I put their name in the chat. Actually, let me go back. Um, where did I, did I put it? Eh, I thought I highlighted it, but I guess I didn't. I put their name in and you can find them because it's, it's not difficult at all. So it's cookie and then it's dough, D-O-U-G-H lights, L I G. H S right and wait a minute did I leave a letter out <laughs> I forgot the T speller and then <laughs> it, it comes all together because that's your like your low like your what do they call that your tag yeah yeah, yeah. um you have little videos and everything I sent the videos to people so they could see did you? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> or she's like have a cookie eat a cookie like have yeah. a cookie that's so appropriate right I know. <laughs> that where do you where do you get your ideas um from what we love people yeah. actually just ask for things and we're like, Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? So we sit down with a pad of paper and we start just looking online and coming up with ideas. We draw them first before we make them. And we just, we keep thinking of the people in general. What do they want? What is the, what's the meaning of what their passion is or their heart is in it. And then we just try to give them what they, what they want. And hopefully it works. Yeah. So do you, like lay out your dough and then you kind of carve it into the image you want or do you create molds of the images and then do it it depends sometimes uh we have basic cutters so we have different shapes like you know circles and everything other shapes squares and things like that um but if people want something specific uh they will will work around it and we'll try to put them on shapes but if that doesn't work we trace it on a piece of paper and then we cut that out and then put that on the dough and cut it ourselves. This one was actually this camera is a cookie. Mm -hmm. And that one was actually draw cut out hand and cut, hand yeah. cut in the dough. We don't have a cutter for it, but uh, I'll take your picture. <laughs> I love it. That is amazing. Show us the other cool, the rings, the ring cookie. Oh, the ring ones. Yeah. This one. These actually were all inspired by Hallmark because yeah, the camera too. Ryan Peavy, I guess, has his little uh, ring. His ring, ring, his jewelry, yeah. jewelry thing. So I thought I'll try to make his rings match the camera. That's and amazing. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> and then the camera actually was a Tyler Hines movie. Yeah, and then we made this not too long ago, right? Too. Yeah, the Tyler and, and show uh, the other one. Oh gosh, I have right there. So I can't imagine ordering something, one of those, and then actually wanting to eat it. I would like <laughs> one. <laughs> Is it, can it be preserved? Can you keep it in perpetuity, or how does that work? Yeah, you actually can. Um, you can keep them in the refrigerator for a uh, freezer, yeah, in the freezer, six months or more, depending on yeah. if you don't mind them getting a little bit stale. <laughs> yeah. Some people we've actually had some people um have them and they don't eat them. And one guy actually dropped his accidentally and he glued it back together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I'll make you another one. And he said, no, I, I loved it. I wanted to just mm -hmm. keep it. <laughs> so, but know. sometimes when you freeze them, they come out tasting better because of the, the crystallization. Oh, that yeah. Like, they get softer. Yeah. yeah. And then they moisture. taste really good. Yeah. So. That's really, that's a good, that's a good thing to know. Now, freezing them you mean free when we receive them if we freeze yeah. them yes mm -hmm. yes oh. yeah. yeah now let's talk about so where you're located i mean you don't have to give out your address yeah. <laughs> but you're, you're located in illinois correct correct mm -hmm. so what does that mean by like selling rules or laws how who can you to whom can you sell we well, can sell I'm sorry. it means that i can get to them quicker 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. We can only sell to people in Illinois right mm -hmm. now, according to what's called the cottage law. It just opened up this year where we got more opportunities to sell and to make more money if we wished or could. Um, it wasn't a real strict law last year, but the governor made it better. But we're only allowed to ship it within Illinois. And um, yeah, and we sell. can ship and we do local pickups. So anyone around our area specifically is mostly what it's for, mm -hmm. but uh, we can ship. But it doesn't stop state. us if we want to give a gift to someone out of state who doesn't yeah. pay for it, yeah. <laughs> who knows us, we'll give a gift. Yeah. Okay. What do you have to do to qualify to uh, be able to do business outside of the state? Um, actually, I think it's just going to take our law changing for Illinois. Um, I, it's different for every state. Yeah. And for our state, it's it's here what it is. Yeah, because I think some states are allowed to ship to another state that has the same exact guidelines in their cottage law. But right now, Illinois can't. Like she said, some states can, but we can't yet. But when that opens up, that will open up a lot more opportunities and a lot more neck aches. Yeah. <laughs> Looking down and making them. How long, like your camera cookie, how long does it does it take for you to make just one? Just one? Just it the depends. camera cookie. It depends on the type. That camera one, I don't know how long that took. Kyle. This one was actually, the camera one was just for fun that we were doing between cookie orders. I had right. extra dough. So this one probably took two, two and a half days because the process yeah. is after we make the dough, then we roll it out, freeze it so like it gets firmer, mm -hmm. put it in the oven, then we cool them off. Then what we do is what's called flooding where we take... Yeah a cookie and just put the main color on that has to stay overnight and get hardened. Mm. And then the next day we decorate it and add extra things to it. Then that has to stay probably another day. And then we take pictures and package them. So three days, maybe four sometimes depending on the project because of but, the process. Yeah. Yeah. It depends the on the type, but the, the videos that we put on Instagram, um, those ones, they, they go pretty fast because we make them go fast because we don't want them to take that long. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll take I them mean, when they're wet. We'll take pictures of them when they're wet yeah, at that point. Yeah. yeah. Just so, the video for like decorating the, the small ones. Yeah. So. I sent, I'm sending some to Kathy. So when they come your way, Kathy, mm -hmm. hold off eating them so we can <laughs> eat them live. Say so anything well, you're holding them. off. On yeah. Them. Well, don't and worry. Also, We're going to send you this one, Roxanne. Yeah. Oh my god, you're so cute. Because we know Kathy's getting her big batch, but you know, Roxanne needs something. So this That's one we're gonna send to you this week, okay? Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. You can't have nothing. We have That's to do exciting. something. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. That's our friend cookie we're talking about out of state. <laughs> Are the two of you the only ones involved in this? Do you have helpers or is anyone else in the family interested in joining you or? I try to get my other daughter to, but she has a real job. <laughs> but she helps. She's she has our, a real job. <laughs> yeah. She helps in and out when she's home. Yeah. Not at work. We call like, her our creative director because yeah. when we are confused and we're fighting about a, a something, she'll she'll, she'll put it to rest and say to do. whatever. I love that. That's a good thing. You got to yeah. never know. You don't know where things can lead. So mm -hmm. before we talk about when calls the heart, because I know your hearties and we want to pick your brain, I wanted to share with you what some of our, our guests are saying. Christina is saying the cookies look amazing. And Christina, that's a good compliment because Christina is an artist and she can she can do amazing things like the everything that you're showing us. She could do that like in a wood burning. Oh, you know, I know. Yeah. That's so that's nice. a good compliment. And Jan is saying cookie recipe sounds great. All the decorating must be so tedious. Yeah. It, 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 right? Yeah, there's there's <laughs> a lot of stuff going on, yeah. <laughs> depending on what it is. Barb, uh, Barbara Ann is saying I you they she's following you on Instagram. Oh, thank you, Barbara. You're seeing people coming in <laughs> with that. <laughs> I know. Cindy Smith says, I am just amazed the decorations on cookies now and really admire those who can do it. Wow. You thank can do you. it too, Cindy. I know you can because we couldn't <laughs> at one point. Oh yeah. yeah. It was really Barbie bad. Okay. Love the cookies. Thank you. Thank you. And Arlene wants to know, can you sell at fairs and festivals in Illinois? Yes. Yes, yes we, can. we can. 
Okay. Wait, now they saw my cookie and some of them are, we're, we have a meetup coming up and they're like, save your cookie, Roxanne, so I can see it when I come there. I will, Chris, I promise. <laughs> that's, what, that's what phone cameras are for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So they're going to follow you on Instagram. I hope you have like, when you go back and we're done, you have like a little surge in. Aww, in yeah. It's so Our phones are already blowing up here. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then Jean's saying um, that the cookies look amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. All so right. Yeah, so, uh, another question. Can I ask yeah. a question? So I, I, it's obvious how much you guys love doing what you do and that it's a, it's a real passion for you. One of the things I've learned about myself is if I've got something I'm really passionate about, the minute it turns into, I've got to do this, I lose that, that spark for it. How do you guys keep the, the passion, the fun, the excitement alive in what you do? Um, when calls a heart cookies. <laughs> well, yeah, we all, when in between jobs, we do what we like. And I like when calls a heart. I like Hallmark. You yeah. like it's, Disney. It's the videos we've been putting on, really, because we finally got a new phone because we couldn't do this before. Our phones are getting so old, we couldn't make the fun videos that are out there. And so we just got a new one. And yeah, like she said, is the when calls a heart ones. Anything we can do in between our orders that we're excited about that's that's what keeps us going yeah. because it's fun to see the video it's fun to see the cookie that's just in our minds yeah yeah, yeah. and seeing people's faces when they come and pick mm -hmm. them up and if they're really happy with it that means a lot yeah because i i mean that's what we really want actually i pray before i give it to anybody because i just always say how could cookies help people you know yeah what could they do and mm -hmm. um so I just want, we just want to bring joy to people. Yeah. That's you know? wonderful. I love that. I just said that on Instagram. That was my, my PS, uh, my public service announcement. I was like, go find your joy, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Just find it and do it. And, and yeah. ignore, you know, what anybody has to say, just go. I love that. Like There's you two are doing, you're doing yeah. it. Yeah. You guys do gingerbread? Excuse me? Do you do gingerbread? Um, we have not done gingerbread yet. We've talked, yet. About, we've it talked about it. Yeah. We've tried other flavors, but right now we're just doing lemon, but we're hoping to get more flavors and different kinds soon. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing lemon, you could just make it vanilla, couldn't you? It, yeah. The, every little detail has to be recorded through the health department. Wow. Every little, anytime we do yeah. anything different. So, and that has to go through a process where they know before we can do it. Okay, that makes sense yeah. because then they have to know what goes on the back of the packaging, like right. like all the ingredients. That makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just showing you some more things here. Carrie's saying yeah. beautifully, um, beautiful cookies. Um, uh, Chris wants to know: Are they basic sugar cookies to start? Um, in a sense, yeah. yeah There's a little bit of change sugar. in it that everybody says not to say online with it is because mm -hmm. that's what makes it a different okay. sugar. It's not the kind you can find like at Target. They're good. That's good to know. Hopefully you'll you both will like the flavor when you get yours. Okay. But that's it is a sugar cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Start. yeah. All right. That's that's right. Don't give your secrets away. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> to Iowa. Oh. I we know. were in Iowa. So. Yeah, we have all. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, one one time, hopefully, can make it to Iowa. Cookies do make everything better. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that, dude, that was like so appropriate. I'm like, I'm so happy for our guests and the most appropriate episode besides right. the 100 when she's like, have a cookie. Uh, cookies make everything better. I just thought yeah. it was so cool. It was too ironic, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it's divine intervention. It's supposed yeah. to be that way. Yeah. Joan says, how nice to see a mother and daughter working together and loving it so much. I do love it. Yeah. <laughs> It keeps her around longer too. <laughs> I love it. You know what? I love that you said when you had a conflict, your other daughter was the one that helped you to resolve it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's very good at it. She's very professional. She keeps yeah. us professional. Yes, she does. <laughs> All right. So tell me. Yes. About when calls the heart. So tell me some of your favorites, especially since you've watched it from the very beginning. Like what's a favorite either season or episode or character or relationship or storyline, whatever, whatever you oh, want to share. Very beginning when Jack, Jack was in there, Jack, I just fell in love with him instantly. I mean, when he, when he died, mm. I think my family oh, thought yeah. I died. Yeah. Cause I wasn't a part of this in the beginning when she was watching it. So mm -hmm. I, I just heard her from upstairs crying. Yeah. Like so loud. 
and and I, I was like, "What's it. happening, mom?" And she's like, "Jack died." I'm like, I, I Who's just Jack. I couldn't handle it. I just I I said, "How could they do this?" So I was watching anything about why he's leaving the show, why it mm -hmm. happened, and I'm still not satisfied with why he left. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I'm still thinking, "Is he going to come back in some way?" And so, of course, I'm very protective over Elizabeth and who she's going to be with. So, you yeah. know. I joined every contest, and yeah. so I got like yes. free autograph. Oh, everybody! Yeah, she got. I'm so excited everybody. because Amber helped me win a contest, and I got all their autographs. Wait a minute, you won! Show yeah, that. I did. Show yeah, that was yeah, a whole it's then. a whole folder. I guess it was from um a her, uh, the Hardy's reunion. The Hardy's reunion that yeah. we were able to go to. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it's the whole. Oh, that's amazing! Wow. Yeah, on the inside, we got everybody. Yeah, here's a signed stuff from everyone. <gasps> oh, I love it. <laughs> Do you ever send them cookies? I I'd love we're to. Hoping through, we're hoping <laughs> with something with this can bring us to that. <laughs> I would love to. I, there's. I one can help you with that. Do you oh. want me to help you with that? Uh, yeah, oh, you can help God. us with that. Do you want me to give you an address? And, sure. And contact, okay. Um, give me the words we can tomorrow. Talk. I'll I'll look I'll I'll look into it for you to make sure because there's a shift in addresses. But give me um tomorrow and I will do my best to get back to you. Okay, and we can be part of what we should send them. You can come yeah. up with the ideas too, both of them. I did that once for the producer of General Hospital, and she called me. It was oh, so wow. Wow. Back yeah, in I'm a big General Hospital days. Days. Yeah. Remember when Jack Wagner was on there? Of course. Yes, and when he used to sing the songs. Frisco the singer. Do you remember when he sang? Yes. Yeah. He, he was a rock star when he first came Yeah. Out. I was in the front row of his concert once, and I'm like, ooh. So I brought out my Jack Wagner. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, something else that stands out? What are you thinking about? Um, what do you think about the 100th episode? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, I just think, I don't know where they're going with everything. And that's what, and I can't stand waiting week by week. I'm a binge watcher. Yeah. You know? yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then sometimes I'm like, Amber, what, what happened last week? Because <laughs> there's so much going on during the week. I feel like I forget things, yeah. but I'm like, I love, I don't think there's anything I don't love about it. I just want to go on the set. I just want to live there. I want to dress like them. I you want to move to Hope Valley, basically. I do. I really yeah. do. I like the simpleness of it. I love the community. I love each character. I love everything. And you, you could know, open up a bakery there. I, I yes. wouldn't that be awesome? It could be a walk on. They yeah. could have a walk on character. Oh, that would be yeah. so fun. Oh my gosh. Well, did you That's see true. on, on um, when they did the uh, the baking show? With the one calls the heart people mm -hmm. oh, last year. Oh my gosh, that yeah. would have been a dream to be on that with them. Yeah, that would have been great, right? That would have been great. That would have been an ultimate dream of mine. Yeah. <laughs> now, I heard it was one calls the heart, <laughs> not the baking. The one calls the heart people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The cast and all that. You'd be like, oh, like it'd be hard yeah. to do, like a nerve wracking. And right. like, oh. <laughs> baking was one of them. Ooh. <laughs> On who would you want to have as your helper? Who would you want to choose? Oh gosh, oh mm. gosh, who was I wanting when I was there? I liked Paul Green at the time too. I thought he'd be you fun, did. but I also would love to do it with Aaron. But Pascal, yeah. she's like so fun. I think it wouldn't matter for me. No, so, Lucas. Lucas. well, yeah, we we all know Lucas is nice, but um, <laughs> I like Aaron. Yeah, I think oh. she would be so fun to be She's with. She's lovely. I love Aaron. I'm so happy too. I like Lee too. So he's oh his movie. You know he has um a, a movie. It's this Friday. It premieres on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. It's the second part of Linda Lale Miller's book, um Big Sky River, and it's called The Bridal Path. So now he's actually the characters oh. are getting married, which is cool. It's this Friday. Little mm -hmm. plug for you, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that I'm going to want to watch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I have one more question about When Calls the Heart, and then um, I will let you girls go, but I'll send you off with some more wonderful things people are saying for you, uh, okay. saying to you. Um, what's a hope, wish, or dream that you have for by the time season 10 is over? What do you hope? One, just one that has happened. Well, I have I have like mixed emotions about um, Elizabeth being with Lucas. I'm fearful it's not going to happen 
I want it to. Because I, want it to I, I don't know if it was me, if I heard it right. At the end of the last season, I thought Lucas was involved with something sort of iffy, shifty, didn't it seem like with his business or something? Um, Did anybody know? Those, those, were, those were rumors from folks who really don't like Lucas and Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. well, I, I meant like on, on, the, on the show, exactly. I thought that was something going in on the with the saloon episode. and stuff. Yep. Okay, because I thought, okay, is he not a good character? He's oh, a yeah. wonderful character. Nothing shady about him at all. Okay, well, then I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I, but I just, something feels like in my heart that they may not get together and something's going to be happening. And I don't want that to happen to her. So I want them so you're to You're scared and nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be more yeah. afraid that yeah. going to yeah. take over. And yeah. Yeah. Gonna die. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that'd be good. I say, uh, I'd be willing to bet they're not going to break Elizabeth's heart again. Yeah, it can't, it can't happen. It can't happen. Well, that's what you're afraid of. But you're look. Do you hope they have the wedding? This, this, uh, this. Season? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, if they wait any longer, that's just silly. I they, know. they make you wait for too long for for so many things in the show. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Amber I agree. She, Amber was saying that she was hoping that um, Lee and. Um, Oh, mm -hmm. gosh, um, Rosemary will have, have a, a girl, girl yeah, and marry baby Jack eventually. Yes, <laughs> I know. And they, I want them to call her Hope. Oh, oh that's yeah. a good one. I do. That's, that's my name one. I want. Yeah. yeah. We've got some friends for your send off here. It says, I love the, um, the mother and daughter duo. You are so delightful. Oh, Thank how cute. You. And Nikki suggests that you make some wedding cookies. Oh, this uh -huh. is what we were talking about. Baby shower already. cookies, too, for Rosemary. <laughs> and Catherine's, yes, that's true, some uh, baby yeah. shower cookies. Yeah. Catherine's saying, I love the passion in these two ladies. Oh, and they're you. green. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we were talking about telling this. you Chris would be great, great to help decorate the cookies. He's so into the details. That's yeah, true. Bring them on. Ooh, yeah, let's let's make it happen. Let's start a show with them. <laughs> we'll do cookies with them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did, did you guys even consider for your company name when calls the cookie? Oh <laughs> I <laughs> love that. I'm sure it's it's been in the you think it's taken up? It probably is taken. That's when it calls the cookie, thing. like, you know, it's calling my name. I got to hack it. I love that. That's, that's, great. that's hilariously perfect. I know. And, and I love it. A separate section for that and call it when calls the cookie. Yeah. You should. You should, that's your line. Like you give different names to your different yeah. cookie well, lines. You were saying yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, uh, she was saying our followers might not know exactly what when called the heart is because, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. And uh, so she's like, I want to make a different Instagram for that because then I could put everything about it. But if we make something separate on the account, yeah. maybe it yeah, you know. like a different like yeah. the different lines. Mm -hmm. I um I want everyone when they get on if they're on Instagram because I know some people are not. I'm just going to your account real quick right now. But um of course you have um let's see you have other like you were just showing us other things. But I love how you wouldn't know that at first the camera has a link to Hallmark. Because you're big Hallmark mm -hmm. fans. Mm -hmm. I think that's so cool. And, oh, it's taking me forever to bring it up. I'll show them at the end. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they would love that. They would love to, to know about that. They would like, yeah. Tyler Hines is so sweet. He would love that. Yeah, he, he would. He would. He would love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tyler's so really good. It. Yeah, go ahead. You say it. No, you say it. You say it. It was yours. You say, you say it. it. Well, we're seeing the mother-daughter fight right on camera. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to get the other Amber, one. Amber speaks better than me about certain subjects. So you go I for this one. Since you brought it up, Tyler Hines is a very sweet man because we met him and we brought him a cookie, actually, <laughs> yeah. um, for her birthday. In December, we went to the Rama Drama Christmas in Chicago. And so... That was really fun. Yeah, they did a really oh. wonderful birthday party for me there and had all the... the the cast like asked them to write a happy birthday card to me and gave them a cookie. Do you have it here? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is the one, actually. They gave them a cake and a plate with a fork cookie. Oh, each my gosh. It, so. <laughs> and so That's each one got it. <laughs> and it was so an fun. Annual event? Excuse me? Is that an annual event, the Rama Drama? It just yeah. started. It was the first one in Chicago that they, they had. Rama Drama does such a nice job with um, treating the their people that attend, the people that participate. We have something here in New Jersey, where I'm from, called um, Christmas Con, uh, the Hallmark Christmas Con. Mm -hmm. is a different um, 
it's a different, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, atmosphere. But that would be cool if you came and you had your own little spot. You, you can yeah, if there was cookies. a way, I'd love yeah. to. Make- or, or are you allowed to sell your cookies that way or no? Oh, in yeah. Jersey? Yeah. Yes, if, if, we're there, yeah. Yeah. if we're there. There is a way. You can come and do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, if- I send it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it. it would be great to. I'd love to just come. Oh, and my Jersey girls will come see you, girls. We'll we'll <laughs> set that up. So, because mm-hmm. I have a group from here. All right. So, listen. Let remind me. I have to give you the address for um to send the cookies up to Canada, and then I have to give you the info for Christmas Con. Don't let me forget. Sounds good. Let's send Wendy cookies. Yeah, <laughs> right. That would be because it so seems fun. like the the baby shower cookies are going to come too quick for us to get them there. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe both. I don't know. <laughs> all of it. It's all a momentous thing. It doesn't have to be. It's just a. It's just they're already filming season eleven. Anything that That's you're getting true. them from ten, they will love. That's just right. a beautiful thing. That's so cute. Um, like there's certain things that that they all like. Like Erin, if you love Erin, she loves Cinnabons, like cinnamon. Oh. Like oh, make, yeah. make anything with and watermelon. So there, there's water, watermelon. So there, are, there's all kind. Their dog, her dog. Oh. She is so into her, <laughs> her dog right now. So there's quite a few things you could do. We'll make a list of all the things that you think that they'd like, and we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's you could cool. do all their dogs because they all have dogs. Oh. <laughs> no, they do. They very are very much passionate. They bring their animals with them to the set, like. Barbara, who does all the costumes, her puppy dog is there too. So there's a new dog, Scout. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Scout. Right, have you guys right. been there? Have you been to Hope Valley? I have never been to the studio or, or to the set. I haven't. But they are doing something this September. But I yeah. teach. I'm teaching while that's going oh, on. Yeah. yeah. Kathy, have you been there? Nope, have not. Nope. We have to take a road trip. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. or plane trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right, fun. girls. This has been so nice, Thank and you're helping you. us celebrate the 100th episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Information from um, yeah. and I'm going to have to come see you guys since you're in the oh, same. Oh, wow. we're so close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, Kathy. Aww. All right, girls. Thank you. You have a good Thank one. You. Thank, Thank you both you. very much. You're doing good a wonderful night. job. Bye bye. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm like really hungry now. I have a taste for some sweets, namely cookies. I don't know if I can, how long I can hold out. They, their cookies are so gorgeous. And I wanted to take the time. I wanted to do something a little special because this is the 100th episode. And it's like little pieces of artwork. I, I mean, they're gorgeous. Did you see the cake with the fork that they did for Tyler? I yeah. mean, that's amazing. I love it. All right. So before um, we are spotlighting the character of Julie Thatcher and um, which is who is Charlotte, Charlotte Hegley is Julie Thatcher. We'll talk more about her, but let's, let's dive in. Cause we're all sitting here waiting to dive in. Come on. What do you think about this 100th episode? What do you have to say, Kathy? You start. Um, I wasn't Terribly excited the very first time I watched it on Sunday night. Mm-hmm. And then I watched it again. And it's like, what was I thinking? Because I really liked it. I really liked it. And I realized that the reason I was kind of like, eh, about Sunday night was because it was the 100th episode. And I really expected, boom, you know, something yes. exciting, something major, not, not, you know, I didn't know if Rosemary might have the baby or what, but I just I that I expected good. something yeah. out of the ordinary. I'll put it that way. But other than that, um, I really liked the way Bill bounced back. And he was he was Bill again. And he was so funny in that striped bathing suit. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Um, and the girls went out and they're sitting there looking at him and he he gets up and he gets down real low, like where the rocks are. Yeah. I loved it. It was so, so yeah and it, it's it's just a continuation of my feeling last week that I, I shared it's like visiting your hometown and I, I like the the consistency of it and just people being people and you know doing what you'd expect them to do Lucas and Elizabeth I think were adorable as usual I thought it was so cute that she thought he might want to uh, head to Hamilton 
And, you know, he kind of just left her hanging there uh, when Gustav needed to talk to him about turnips. Gustav is so temperamental. Um, and, yes. so, and then I, I loved him and uh, Lucas and Ag Agatha, their interactions. Uh, she adores him too. I mean, who doesn't adore Lucas anymore? Um, and then he let her, him letting her win at poker. And I kind of think she knew he was letting her win, but she's just so charmed by him. He had yeah. like a big time full house too, I think. Yeah. This is over Kings. Yeah. yeah. So that was fabulous. I really like the girls bonding, uh, the, the trio. I like uh, what they're doing there. Couple of things that I didn't particularly, I wasn't crazy about. And that is, um, they seem to be doing what I call, I've, I've seen this term retconning, where it's kind of you're, you're tweaking history a little bit or you're okay. creating stuff that I've been watching all this time and I didn't realize happened. A couple of examples of that are Henry. Henry had started making some real progress toward embracing, oh um, embracing his own redemption, reaching out. Um, my notes. Reaching, I'm yeah, reaching out to the Lord, uh, wanting to learn how to pray. And it's like, what happened to all that progress? And yeah. now he's back to self-loathing and thinking he doesn't deserve anything good. And the other thing that caught my eye was this whole conversation about something happening, some mysterious happening with Faith and Nathan. I know. And it's like, were they together and something happened and they broke up? That's the way they made it seem. But it's like, we didn't see any of this and you're not explaining any of this. Did this all happen since the end of the last season? That I was not crazy about. I, I mean, show it to us. Let us live it. Let us experience yeah. it. Show so, me what happened with Henry and why he might have, yeah, he could have taken another couple steps back, but show us how and why that happened. I want to go back to the Henry thing because those are my, I put them as con concerns, both. It's so funny because we haven't talked to you and I, and it's Henry and the Faith and Nathan story. Mm -hmm. So one of my concerns is that, like you said, it's like he went backwards. We worked, they work so hard and we, as you know, viewers are falling in love with that storyline. And, and, and I've been watching since the beginning, one of my top three scenes or storylines is what happened in last season when Henry gets down on his knees to pray and, and he's ready to, and I'm thinking, what happened? Like, why would you, you, that was so beautiful. It really was beautiful writing. And that man can act. That man is an actor. He's an, he's, he's excellent. And I'm thinking, why would you take that away? And now we're back to the, like, this is an old storyline. Now you're, you're, it's almost like you're bringing like a repeat, and I feel bad because the writer was Derek and he's an excellent writer. And I don't know what's going on with that. They started it off in the very first episode, which was Lindsay. And then they carried it into the second. And, and um, that disappoints me. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to see it. Or like you said, if something happened, show, us. show us, give us, don't like it was spotty. Then mm -hmm. the other thing, like you said, with faith and Nathan, I'm excited about, a Mountie being a Mountie. So they hinted a lot about that. The bandits, you know, whatever's going on out there. So it looks like Nathan's going to be, you know, doing his rounds more. We're going to see some Mountie stuff. But if we're going to have faith in Nathan together, I don't want to be teased. Oh, like, oh, it reminds me of, I know this is terrible. It reminds me of a soap opera. I won't give the name of it where they would say something and then they zero in on the people's faces. And that's what it was like. Oh, that's like yeah. every soap opera. And, and no, but it was worse on this one. And I was like, I cannot. I, I, I was a young girl and I was like, I had enough of this. This is crazy. Tell us what happened. Like, and they're not little teenagers. They're not Robert and Allie. They're grown men and women who've been in relationships, you know, like. Speaking of Faith and Nathan, I'm sorry, but I thought Mike, is it Mike? Mike yes. Kevin, I thought he was so cute last night in his crush on Faith. I, under no circumstances, want to see them do another triangle. No way, no how. Don't do that. But I could see him being really cute with um, with Faith. Yeah. Or, you know, let's see if he has any chemistry with May. He's 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 a little looser than he was being the mayor. I, I like the character more this season. I don't 
think we need to pair off everybody right away. That that is something that I don't I don't want to see. I want to see. I want to see. I talked about this before. I want to see where there is a storyline. I have a lot of thunder here. Sorry. A, a storyline where there are storylines that go through the whole season, an arc. But I want to see something happen in each of the episodes as well. And they used to do it with Elizabeth and something going on in her life, especially with like the children. And I want to see that. I'm hoping we see more of it. I guess for this one, it was about Lucas and Elizabeth with her family. Now I am, um, before we get even onto that, I wanted to, I posted up what Emily said, overall, I felt underwhelmed, like what I had said the other day, even when watching multiple times. I felt a little bit better though, the second time around. They were enjoyable moments, yes. And I'm trying not to be too negative about it. Like what she said, I'm, I'm me too. I'm trying, I'm looking, there was quite a bit that I liked and I'm looking forward to it. You know what I really re realized? The first a segment before the commercial was excellent. Like I was, wow. Like it was cute. It was flirty. It was funny. It was all, all kinds of stuff. And then as it went on, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but there were moments, there were moments. So maybe it just had high expectations. I'm not sure. So, um, okay, go ahead. Keep going. I'm just going to share some. No, I, I was pretty much, uh, the only other, the only other thought I had was, the, the you know the 11 year old bandit or that's about how old he sounded to me and i'm wondering if they're, if they're going to do anything with that storyline because there is a void to be filled that jesse had filled remember he came on as you know irredeemable youth so-called irredeemable and he turned into one of the you know most treasured cast members right. or members of the town so i'm wondering if that was just random or that we saw the bandit and they talked about the bandits or if we're going to see more of them or one of them. I think we are. I definitely think we are. And then there was the scarf and he looked at it and he picked it up. Was that scarf in the flea, like in the beginning when they had that swap, there was a swap meet. And, I remember that. Yeah. But I don't think that was the same scarf that the two ladies both wanted. I was just wondering if, I don't know, he, there's something about that scarf because they zeroed in on it. You know, you got to pay attention to little things. Those are those, those hints they were giving to um, more storyline to come to, um, like danger in the woods. And then also the wedding is going to become overwhelming because just the way they've been discussing it, those are hints that they've been giving in these two episodes. That's what I had written down. Um, I think there will be a bigger bandit storyline, um, especially when it comes to Faith going out there. If it's not her, somebody else will find their lives at risk. Maybe this is how um, he does. Nathan does something great and he winds up getting that governor's award. You know what I mean? So are they going to find more springs uh, in the area because that one little spring is not going to accommodate a whole bunch of tourists. Well, if you looked at it, it's not one hole. It's several, oh, it's several of them. Okay. There are several of them. We only see Jack swimming and, and, and it all the Jack, we only see, um, Crisco Bill, Bill swimming in it by himself because, and it's been helping his health. And how about he doesn't want anybody to know about it. You know, one of the things that I was excited about when it, it has to do with that is I always ask, where's everybody live? And there's that great, they took care of that. There's that great little scene where uh, Minnie and Molly are in the kitchen working, right? And then, she, and then um, Cooper says, you know, you've been up there so many times. And even then Molly says something. And then she says, from her house, she could see Bill's clothesline from her kitchen and his, his striped suit, like his striped bathing suits hanging. That bathing suit has got to go. So that means Bill lives in one of the real homes. Like, yeah. okay, yay. How long did it take for us to know and that? And so does Molly, yeah. Yeah, well, we knew Molly did. We've always, I've known that. But I'm like, well, yay, that's where he is. And the other thing that they, I've been asking for is they never talk about Rosemary's family. And they slipped it in in that beautiful conversation at the very, very end with Elizabeth. Which and means Mama's going to show up this season or next. I don't know about that, you think? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I she just might be on hand for the birth. I'm telling you. Mark mm. my words, folks. Okay. I don't know about that. I will say this when she was talking about it and she was worried about being a mother for her own child. 
And I, she said, oh, my father was a great, you know, he was a Mountie. I wish that they had put that little nod into Jack. That's why she and Jack were so close because his mother often was like a mother to her. And his father was a Mountie. Her father was a Mountie. I wish they had mentioned it because it was the 100th episode. And it would have been a tiny little nice nod to the character of Jack. You know, I, I I don't know, and they, it didn't happen. But yeah, they weren't. No, I'm just saying they weren't into that. I mean, there were countless opportunities. Well, they they, I, I guess, and I'm not trying to be snarky, but I think the nod to the past was the entire storyline with Lucas and Elizabeth, because it was basically a repeat of when the family met Jack and wanted yeah. him to, you know, give up his his job and come work for them. It's like you guys don't learn, do you? Well, I also like, why did they repeat the storyline? But I do love the twist on it. In the very beginning, it was funny. Like he was nervous. Lucas was nervous. Love Lucas being nervous about meeting Aunt Agatha and Julie. I am happy though, that that's, if that's where they were going to go with like a nod to the past for this episode, I'm happy that they had Julie come back on and they had Aunt Ag Agatha, Auntie, they called them. They were both excellent. That They're yeah. And Agatha is a phenomenal, the act, the actress is phenomenal. She actually will be a guest, but right now she has a commitment in a few weeks, she'll be free and she'll, she'll be hopping on. Um, and of course, Charlotte Hegley, she's amazing. And I love how she really played the part down to the details, like when she's talking to her sister and you know how she's a little flighty and artsy. And as she's talking to her sister, there's like something there, like, like, a, I don't know what it was, the phone or whatever was next to her. And she's got her fingers going on it as she's talking, you know, and her mannerisms, she was so, Julie, I loved it. She was fantastic. And I was like, yes, I'm glad that that's who came back. Who was Julie interested in? Somebody's brother. Whose brother was that? Jack's brother. Remember we had, that? we had the, no, we had the actor on. Remember they had the no, band, no, I mean the storyline. They I had a big remember. car accident. And they were better. It was better that they grow up and be separated than yeah, be together. Yeah. I had always hoped they would somehow find their way back to each other. I was kind of hoping Julie would move back to Hope Valley. Me too. Or not yeah. back, but move to Hope Valley to be with their yeah. sister, you know. Yeah. Um, they're talking amongst each other. Tanya says, Avis, I loved how nervous Lucas was before he met Aunt Agatha, but he did pick the right tie. You yeah. know what else I loved? I loved their their funny banter and playing the cards and, and oh, my, my favorite Aunt Agatha line. So you're the young man who thinks he's gonna be marrying our Elizabeth, and he like his soul left his body for a minute. And she's like, I was just kidding. No, and Elizabeth had that look and she turns around and Julie, they're all like, it was like record scratch. Er, er, you know, I'm like, ah. I thought that was, see that all happened in the beginning. And I did love that chemistry. I thought that was great. But again, why are they having, I think they had one little peck like Lucas gave her one little peck on the cheek and I was like, don't start making them. And I know where they're going with this. The storyline is supposed to be that they get so caught up in the trials coming and all the things that happened to them in the season that finally getting that wedding off the ground is a lot for them. That's the, where that's supposed to go. They've already talked about it. The actors, I get that, but don't make them like some, and I don't even want to say old married couple because there are couples that are been married for years and they're still passionate about each other. I, they're just almost like, like look at Lee and, and um, Rosemary, they never can keep their hands off of each other. Of course it's modestly, but they're always through all of their like relationship. Why I need to see that just like Minnie and her and her husband. And all of a sudden they're like little peck on the cheek. Oh, hi, hi. What happened? I need I, I don't agree with that. Okay. You know what I like? I think the most intimate moments are when they are talking with each other and just standing so close to each other. And you can tell they're on the same wavelength. And she knows what he's thinking and he knows what she's thinking. And when you compare that to a couple seasons ago, when they were afraid to speak their minds or didn't even know what their minds were, and, you know, they were struggling to, he, he went to, to grab her hand or to touch her hand and she pulled away when they were in the saloon and she's like, I'm not ready yet. It just, I think they've made so many strides. And I think that kind of interaction where you're just, you're with that person, we're together, is much more intimate than the kisses or, or the, you know. 
Why don't we need they? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, we have to have some teenage makeout sex. We want bridge kiss all the time. No, no. I don't think I don't, <laughs> Yeah, I don't mean that. I, I love, I love though, Chris is like the Lucas we met when we first met him. Like he's got that fun, flirty part about him. He, let me tell you something. He's fantastic in a scene with Ben. Chris and Ben are one, they're mm -hmm. hilarious together. Mm -hmm. And the way they talk and what they have to, oh my, I, I really love them. And there's a funny clip for next season. I'm not next season, next episode where they make fun of Bill. Like the kid says, are you a real cowboy? And the two of them are like mm -mm, laughing, you know, like they're hilarious together. I think it's, it's, it's going to make for like a good partnership, them working together. Yeah. Um, I wanted to share some stuff about Charlotte because she cannot be here because of the strike. But not that she's striking. She's standing in solidarity with them. So she will eventually come back. I had her on before, and I'm going to share some stuff. But I wanted to address this before I forget. What has happened to Gustav? They are talking about him, but he is MIA. Kind of like Laura when Elizabeth hollers into the house to her, but she is invisible. Yes, they're keeping they're keeping that straight line alive, which I love. Um, I'm not sure. So Carl Mercer is his name. Um, I do know what agency he is with. When you go and I look in my um, the database that I have, he no longer has his um, agent. He's no longer with an agency. He has no contacts whatsoever. He hasn't done anything since last season. I don't know if he's on a big project, a break, or if he is there. But I am. I have. I feel like maybe we won't see him for a while for whatever reason. I, I did want, I did my research on that. I didn't actually contact his, his agent. I don't know if she still is, but um, I could, I was just curious. I was curious to see, you know, what's going down with him. I highlighted that from Tanya. I'm going to share some stuff right now, real quick, I'll add this to the stream. So this is Charlotte and, um, this is actually the thumbnail for when I had a wonderful, wonderful conversation with her. If anybody is interested, she talks about a lot of the things that I'm going to touch on here, but um, in great detail, I'm just going to zoom through it. But um, she is quite creative. And one of the things she said was when the um, pandemic hit, she needed a creative outlet and she did all kinds of cool stuff. So this, again, there's a whole chat the two of us have and she shares in great detail if you want to catch it you can you know go onto my channel to see but um i wanted to show you that you know kathy and i've been talking a lot about republic of doyle and we have some republic of doyle people here this is um a, sh a shot from when she played an insurance i guess she was like an agent in season five um so she was on republic of doyle she has a really good part do you remember that episode kathy <laughs> I just watched it. Yeah. And then um, she was also excellent in Bomb Girls. If no one has ever seen it, you can go search for it and you can still see it. It's a series and she's really good in it. If you're wondering which one she is in that, um, it, she's at the top on the um, right-hand side, I guess. Yeah, that would be the, your right-hand side. But it's good. And then um, over here, so she needed a creative outlet. So she was doing all kinds of stuff. And she has this gorgeous, she's taking classes. She shows you taking her classes. She shows some of her projects, but she does um, floral arrangements. So if you're up in that area, she's, if I'm not mistaken, in London, Ontario area. And that's some of her work. You can follow her on Instagram. That is her her, she has her Instagram account, but then this is for just the flower of uh, floral arranging and it's weddings, celebrations. I think this one she actually made for her mother. And then over here, um, this is so cool. She does weaving also. She's very artsy. She sings. She, she, she's just acts. She's just amazing. And these are some of her weaves. Now it's hard to see it from here, but if you go onto her account, where do you see the name of her account? Look at that. Unbeweavable weave. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Ah, I love it. She's just so, she's just a beautiful person in general, inside and out. And I loved the Heart and Home did this. 10 seasons of When Calls the Heart, Julie Thatcher. Or I don't know if maybe Emily borrowed it. So Emily has a When Calls the Heart page and I saw it on there. So I don't know if it's an edit from Emily or if it's just what Heart and Home has up. But I love it because it shows when we kind of first met her 
and she was like a young girl and how she's matured through the years and she's there, but she still has her sass, like how she's holding her purse and her hand on her hip. I love it. Like she was, they kept her so into character. It was great. I love, I it, still, love it. I'm still holding out hope that Julie will move to Hope yes. Valley at some point. I, I want her to do it too. I want her to, I absolutely want her to do it. So this was her on the, uh, on this. I loved when she came in. I wasn't sure if that was Nate um, Pelche or not, who acted like he was the cabbie because sometimes he's in charge of all the vehicles and sometimes he'll get in costume and he'll, he'll participate too. And I loved this whole, I loved her being there. I was a little disappointed in one thing though. She has a good relationship with little Jack. I wish we had seen her putting him to bed. We only saw them coming down the steps. I wish we saw more interaction because if this was our nod to, you know, Elizabeth, who is the show is all about, I wish we had a little bit more interaction with everyone. I, I, I would have liked to have seen a dinner with Aunt Agatha and, and Lucas and little Jack and just like a cool, who knows, maybe they cut it out. I think they did the same thing uh, when L little Jack was uh, christened. I yes. know Julie came to town, but I don't recall seeing a whole lot of scenes with her and little Jack. I know. And she did take care of little Jack. She's like, I could do it. And then Elizabeth went off to do whatever she had to do. So mm -hmm. um, it just was so nice that she to just be, see her. I know the actress Charlotte was very excited to be there. Also something really cool that I wish you all would go check out um, the, the chat I did with her because she has so much information and she shared all kinds of cool stuff. She talked about um, how, when she first came on scene, on scene uh, in a scene, how we very first were introduced to her. It, it's, it's a cool, cool um, chat, but she also talks about, and she sells them in a bookstore in, in London, Ontario. If anybody looks at the video, uh, watches the recording or the video or whatever you want to call it, the chat, um, and is interested, if you contact her or me, they'll give you how you can order the books. Well, they're not books, they're um, zines, like a magazine kind of thing. And it's things that she's done and put together. And it's like a seven part series, but it's about your feelings and self-worth and depression and, and handling it. And, and it's good. It, it's, it she talks a lot about it. So that's, that's just some of my little stuff I wanted to share with her. Did you want to add anything? I'm going to take this down because there's a photo we'll talk about later. I had um, another thought about Lucas. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go right ahead. Um, I love the way they, they, I love the way he's blended into the community. And it's just mm -hmm. it's a thing they take it for granted now. But I really like the way they, when they, when they focus on the fact that he, he is such a good guy with kids. And he loves them. And I think they love him too. And if you think about the picnic last night, where was Lucas? He was over at the at the whole watering hole, hanging out with the kids. And I like the consistency and the little detail because when he jumped up to go, I don't know where he was going, but he, he moved and he said, Allie, watch Jack. And they didn't have to put that line in. I mean, none of us would have paid attention, but I love that, you know, he is so, his little buddy, that's his little buddy. And, they're just so cool with each other. And and Lucas with all the kids. I just I just really like it. He is, he's good with the kiddos. He really is. I think because his his own childhood was not the best and mm -hmm. he was sensitive to it. Even like with Allie, like that's remember he gave her the gift that we'll never know what was in that what was in the gift. That's so funny. Um I love Lucas speaking French with Aunt Agatha. Very charming. I know. I know. Someone here, I'm, I like to share with everyone is having to say, um, Martha is loving the writing and the flow of the show. So mm -hmm. it's something that she's enjoying. And um, Emily is saying that Henry, the Henry thing was frustrating. He took a step back in that moment. And I was disappointed. Like, that's how we were, we were feeling too. And that's how we feel. I mean, other people might be excited to learn that there's something why he did. And I'm okay with that. As long as you tell us and don't make it like such a mystery. You and, know? and yeah, tell us, but don't tell us about something really good that, or I mean, really interesting, something we would have enjoy, enjoyed seeing acted out. Oh, yes. Don't tell me about it. Yeah. Act it out. 
you know? You know what? That brings up, okay, I'm going to, that. let me talk about Nathan and Faith after that. Don't let me forget. Ava says, I think Joseph will help for Henry forgive himself. I thought he already did he that. Did. <laughs> yes, that's what's upsetting. I was expecting, because they made such a big deal about it. I even said this in my other, um, like, you know, when we were previous podcasts. I was expecting to see him walk through the church doors and we haven't been to church yet anyway in two seasons. I mean, two episodes, there's no church or yet. the library or the library. He, yeah. He, he took that first step. And so I know he wasn't at the end of the journey yet, but I expected him to be a little bit further on. Um, and now they act like he never took that first step. I know. I know. I know. So we, I, I'm not quite sure what, what they're trying to do with that, but it's okay. Um, I love the show. I'm riding it out. I'm just like, Hmm, where's it going here? Emily saying, Oh, don't get me started on the Nathan and faith thing. They need to reveal the history part early on and allow us to watch them work through it. You, yes. Thank you. I yes. Mean, what about Nathan and, and, and May? Apparently something went on and they decided now nah, this isn't working, but what was it? But you know what? We got to see Faith, Faith, Nathan, and May go on. Not that like they actually it wasn't did. a date, date. I mean, but they were kind of flirty, but shy with each other. Yeah. But they, I didn't see enough of that to come to the conclusion that there was some anything to decide. We don't have anything here. I just. I could live with that though. I could live with because now they've had some more interactions and talking. And I love how he was in there hiding out, helped him to ice cream. She goes, I'll put it on your on your tab. And she's like, you know, it's time to talk about it. So there's too much hinting about what went on with Faith and Nathan. And I have to tell you, you were right. I don't want to hear them hash it out. I want they better have a flashback and show me something because yeah. I want to see it. And I remember I I know people are like, oh, they're too vanilla. I've always loved Faith from the, I always see a spunk in her and, and they're showing it again. She had it and then she lost it. And then she had it again for how they write her story. And you know, had, the times I've liked Faith, I mean, I like Faith. I don't mean to, I, know I, mean. I don't like her, but the yeah. time I'm just like, oh, Faith, you go for girl. Yeah. It's when she's been spunky and she wasn't spunky with, with, uh, uh, what's his name? The doctor. Carson. Carson, she wasn't spunky with Carson. I haven't seen her be spark, spunky with Bill. You know who she is spunky with? That cowboy that drove her into town a couple of Christmases ago when she and Carson kept missing each other. And he was a cutie too. I was hoping, you know, he was going to move to town and, and do something. But I like it when she's spunky. She but was spunky with Nathan. Just this one episode where she's like, I love how everybody was afraid about the bandage and she's turning around talking to the young kid. Really? If it was really a gun, like really? And she, and then, you know, he steps in and she's like, I didn't need to be saved. And how she goes, yeah, and the kid falls off and all that other stuff. She's, she. I, I, I'm not seeing it yet. You know why? Because it's too slow. We need more of it and faster, faster. That, that might help. It's, it, it has to. It has. <laughs> um, Karen, yes. Derek Thompson, one of the writers, said that when it was written, they didn't know. Yep, it was going to be the 100th episode. You were correct. I remember that. I remember him saying that on the official Hardy's um, podcast when they show their different conversations. You're right. And that's why I said earlier, he's an exceptional writer and he's been there forever. And, and what I do love about him is he said this on our show that when he goes to write and tell a story, um, Elizabeth's the center. And if you watch, she was the center of this episode and she has a connection with Bill and his storyline. And she has a connection, of course, with Lucas and the family storyline. Six story degrees line. of Elizabeth. Pardon me? Six degrees of Elizabeth. Yes. So, and and I, I like that. And and then Rosemary and Lee. Oh my God. The, there's this wonderful, someone took a picture of it. What, and made, I, cause they Hallmark didn't, but somebody, you know, took a still of the screen when they're on, um, they're on that, on the woods and they made that the center of community instead of having like a community dinner and, and showing, you know, saying goodbye to aunt Agatha, they did the hope springs because I think that's going to drive the whole storyline. That's going to save the town. That's going to bring up the economy, even though Lee did get that, that big deal. I love it because I love how she wrote the Rosemary roped Elizabeth into it. And Elizabeth's like, what am I supposed to do? And she's like, like act better. And she's like, they're like giving each other the faces, 
But I love when they're sitting out at the springs and she's sitting up and he's lower than her and he, she has to reach down and he has to reach up and they give each other that adorable smooch. Yeah. Like, I love that. I love them, their character, their, their relationship. I love it. I wish they had never even mentioned, I don't know why they bothered pointing out it's the hundredth episode. I wouldn't have known. And then they wouldn't have had an expectation. Yeah, it's true. You're right. The writers better explain what happened between Nathan and Faith since last season. It's confusing and a little bit annoying. Lillian, you're all, we're, many of us are saying this. You are right. Arlene says they shouldn't have, shouldn't, should have had Elizabeth explain the Henry regressing and the Nathan, May, and Faith in her journal entries. Nope, I, I want to see it. No, I want to, I don't, that's too much. That's too, that's too that's easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay that they explained away all those crazy storylines. Not that I didn't like them. And when I meant crazy, they were just so involved, just one of them. I'm okay where they, the oil wells dried up. Okay, boom, you're done. The, the, um, the, oh gosh, that was big lightning. The, uh. Mine exploded. Yes, gone. And then the other part, what was it? The, what were they building? I can't think of the word. It's not coming that factory, but they don't use the word factory. All of that's gone. Foundry. So, Yes, they're economy wise. They're trying to build it up. I get that, and I I love that they said blah 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 to all of that, which is fine. Um, what's this? Avis says, which shoulder did Nathan hurt because he rubbed both in different scenes? Will he get hooked on painkill? He did. I don't think he 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 rubbed. I saw that elsewhere. He, Somebody, he, some people noticed he was rubbing each shoulder. Well, why can't both of his shoulders hurt him? Why can't he fell and he got hurt? Why is that? I are really now Avis. I'm not saying that to you, but okay, I'm I'm okay with whatever shoulder continuity. Yes, the man's got some pain. Martha, I agree with the flow of the show. I feel they will answer the questions over time. Yes. I like that they aren't bouncing around trying to get up to date on everything with everyone all at once. Yes and no. It's too slow. It's taking too long. And I don't want to be told I want to see. Right? Is that what you're saying, Kathy? That's exactly what I'm saying. All right. Now, this is another going backwards. My concern is Molly now back to friend mode, especially after the end of season nine. Thank you, Annie, because it's right, a morning. Changing storylines from the past. Or and not not explaining why they changed. And I wrote this down and I was thinking he could have very easily said, or they could have very easily had their conversation where he's afraid. He could have said this with Elizabeth or Molly could have said this with faith. Cause they're close. Or they could have shown us Molly and bill on the road to visit the doctor and, and let, them, let us see them having the conversation. He's afraid to get involved or to start something because he just needs to concentrate on getting better or what, or, or just dealing with the fact that he's not invincible. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like the fact that all of his relationships have failed and he's yes. afraid. Yes. That would make him so, I love it, human. It would, so he left us hanging and dangling again. And that, that's one of my little, um, Catherine says, I was also confused about Nathan and Mike and Faith. Yeah. Candace, I can't believe that du Gustav does not like turnips now. Does he like root vegetables? I not hope that we get not parsnips. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Now I'm going to do turnip recipes. So let's talk about my recipes. Listen, I have to tell you, the beets brought out some nasty, mean people. Okay. Here I am doing beet recipes and the things that people had to say, and they were not nice about it, especially with the, the mock cherry pie. Oh, well, how about you do this, this, and this? And I'm like, hello, it was a mock cherry pie. This is how you can make mock cherry. Oh, those comments were hilarious. And then, and then people are like, you know, she's just talking about the recipe from the show. And then there's that dialogue going on. I'm like, oh, I got to, life is too short for me to argue over imaginary recipe that... <laughs> <laughs> oh god why did faith make sure that nathan couldn't arrest the bandit 
Oh, I think she was just showing off that she could handle it and the bandit wasn't really dangerous. Yeah, I, I think that was just like an accident that happened kind of thing. Like, I don't think, I don't know. Or she knew he was a young kid and really didn't want him to get in trouble because all they're stealing is food. She says that. What's wrong? Something funny that you're reading? What? <laughs> what? I can't tell me it. What? What? Maybe she realized it was really Robert under that mask. <laughs> He really wants that horse. <laughs> right. And he was looking for food. Oh. oh, my gosh. Henry is my favorite and he is hilarious. Okay, Joel. I love Henry too. Martin is one. You know what's really cool? Henry, have you ever, can you picture Henry walking? I don't believe Martin Cummins walks like that. He he, that's the character. He, 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 be, he isn't acting Henry, he becomes Henry. He really does. You'd forget that you're watching an actor. That's so rare. It's true. He even, they even talked about it in an interview, how he has the limp and he puts himself into it. Jan, we are, as far as Henry's concerned, so I have faith that Joseph will bring him up. Of course he will. That's not our, that's not our issue. Our issue is that he already did. They had that gorgeous moment. And then when the world happened. It could never happen. Yeah. And that was beautiful. How about uh, how much are the bandits going to play in the show? They are because they talked about them far too much. They absolutely will. It's just like that year where everybody was saying books, 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 library, books, books, books. And that's what that whole explosion of the library was. You know, everybody's like bandits, 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 hot spring, hot spring bandits. So those are big stories that are going to happen. Yeah. I told you when I moved around a lot, you were supposed to tell me to stop. <laughs> no, but it's too much fun. <laughs> okay. Continue. Um, everybody's loving Hickam. So am I, um, it's just gonna, I was just going to say Lucas should run for mayor. Yes, 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 yes. Emily's saying, Deb, I don't think Faith helped the band to get away. She thought she was helping by knocking him off. Plus, um, she probably wanted to get away. Yes. Yeah. That's what we were just saying. Um, all righty. Um, Lucas had four aces. Um, the game was five card draw. Jacks are better to open. Trips only to win. I love to play poker. Okay. Yes. A lot of people were talking about that. As for Henry learning how to pray last season, he actually did pray when he was in jail, when Cody had the appendix attack. Yes, I know. But he was, he was asking, you're right. He was asking though for, for forgiveness. And really he just was praying for himself. Yeah. Um, oh, Nathan's dog needs a shave and a haircut. No. <laughs> oh, I want to talk a bit about this real quick. So the dog's name is Scout on the show. So I asked um, the publicist, I, I sent her a message and asked her about the actor, the canine actor, because I cannot find him anywhere. And he's not in my database. And his real name is, it's a real male and his real name is Scout. So I am so, if anybody's here on this podcast, if you can send me an email or shoot me a text or something or a message on Instagram, however, or some of you contact me through Twitter, I would like to know who Scout's handler is uh, because I would like to have them on because Scout's adorable and uh, we want to fall in love with Scout. I think we kind of are already. Anything else, Kathy? I'm going to keep going down what everybody has to say. Anything you want to add while we're going through this? No, nope. 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 good for now. Okay. So mm -hmm. saying, Derek said in his interview with the When Calls the Heart M and team, yes, that he did not know that episode. Yes, we said that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was not written as a celebration episode. Um, oh, That's I what I was missing. I expected celebration of some kind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine was saying Rosemary and her mother's story made me tear up. I know. Yeah. All right. Um, maybe Nathan's life at risk. Mm. I think he's going to be the, the hero and, and help out. Oh, yes. No, Barbara, this is a good topic. Fiona's hairstyle is fabulous. They're really bringing her up into like their 20s. So do, wait a minute. So is that gown that Rosemary is designing for Elizabeth. She's got mm -hmm. that mermaid look. She's got that Juliet, the cap, or they had those cool hats. Like, I'm like, oh, with the string long pearls. I'm like, oh, they're getting you into the 20s. Getting into the 20s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it wasn't this one Rosemary Flo one. It, it was dark felt violet. You're right, Arlene. I was, as I was saying that, I was thinking that, but there is something about that scarf, right? 
that scarf's going to mean it somebody. again. Yeah. Maybe um, the scarf belongs to the parent of the kid who was trying to, you know, steal food or whatever. And then, then someone comes in town and says, oh, my scarf, I've been missing it. Who knows? I was about to say, maybe, maybe it ends up in the mercantile and some kid, some teenage boy comes in to buy it for his mom or something. I don't know. But we'll see the bandit again and the scarf, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, loved when Julie told Elizabeth that Grace had um, reserved St. Joseph's Church for a wedding in Hamilton. I know. <laughs> Remember, like she was telling her all the things that her mom had and, and she didn't want any of it. I know. Yeah. And um, hot springs and a nice looking waterfall. Okay. I'm excited about this because people are going to start coming in. I'm going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to reach out to some of those guests that are coming on. Um, I'm wondering if the woman who comes with the little boy, if the little boy's sick, the one that goes ding, 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 little, ding. Not that one. I wonder if he's not, or maybe she's not feeling well. I'm mm. curious to see where that goes. Um, about the hot tub has Deb referred to it and then we couldn't get off the, I told Gail this Gail Taylor is the design. She designed it. She'll be our guest next week. She'll be on. And I have the theme music for her. Pardon me. I have theme music for her. I know. I love it. I love it. So she's cute. She'll, she'll probably laugh at that. And she's going to come on and talk to us about the hot springs. Cause it's a big, big, big deal with it. Um, I love how Cooper called Bill on his secret. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then the ladies laughed about it. I just don't want Lucas and Elizabeth to elope. I don't think that they will. I think they will. My yeah. wedding is fine, but I need to see Lucas's expression when he sees Elizabeth walk down the aisle. I listen. What are your predictions about the wedding? Because I've been saying the same thing. God, I want to hear. I it. think Lucas may turn into a little bit of a groomzilla because he seems to be putting the kibosh on a whole bunch of ideas that you know she's coming up with. No, should we elope? No. And um, there was something else that she suggested. He was like, no. So I think he's going to be want, want to be one involved groom. Yeah. And um, he's going to have some very specific ideas about the wedding. And I think he might come up with a surprise for her. And I, don't, I have no idea what that is, but he may do something special for this wedding that she won't know about. Okay. I love it. And I think that they're going to get married at the end, at the at last episode. So they don't have time. They go through all the stuff and then it's hard for them and get this and that. And I knew that they were going to have Julie and the aunt on as the family, a nod to her family, because the actors, like I keep saying this, that were, that are his mother and the mother and father of Elizabeth all were in some serious filming of shows and a movie TV movie. So they were not available at that time. So I really think that at the end, they're going to have a wedding like outside, maybe on the Ridge or something where he likes it out there, out, out, out there, out there, you know how he likes going up to the Ridge or whatever. I really think it's going to be, we're going to, we're going to do it. And then, they'll have a bigger celebration or reception with their family and friends. I don't know. I, but I really do think it, I think it's coming at the end. I just don't. We'll see. And I do not think they will elope. I um, hope they don't do it blue blood style. I, you know, let's talk about that at the, uh, when we're off to remind me about that. Rona. Now it makes sense why Rosemary was so close to Jack's mom. Yes. And they hinted at it, but they never really fully told it. And I wish they had said more about it. Yeah. They, um, um, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go right ahead. I blah, blah, blah. just reminded me of Charlotte Jack's yeah. mom that she never came back for, you know, to see Jack. She didn't come back for the funeral. Uh, they may have said she was sick or something, but I would love it if they would at least address that. You know, Charlotte's been ill and she didn't want to yeah. come around the baby or just I something that, to, to remember that there's such a thing as continuity and it just isn't logical that these folks would not want to come back for certain occasions like little Jack's birth, his birthday at Christmas time, send a letter, you know, it's 30 seconds out of the hour. I was thinking that it, when she has her baby, it would be cool if Charlotte comes back because she is like her mother and then she could, 
you know, either give her approval or whatever with the whole Lucas. She, he, she loves to play cards too. And Elizabeth, I don't know. I just thought it would be appropriate. Yeah. That could be where there's a whole scene at the cemetery. And I always think, and a lot of people have said this, like Lucas talking to Jack with little Jack or something. I'm looking forward to that. I think that's going to happen this season. Okay. And, uh, they have to come to terms with, uh, I think I saw a little Jack gets a little curious about his, you know, bio dad, wow. like Jack. And, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah. I like, oh, Jan says, how would Rosie's mother find out that Rosie's pregnant? She could have been keeping tabs on her all along. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. I agree, Kathy, about Rosemary's mother showing up. Nikki's saying, Elizabeth and Julie talking about the wedding and Elizabeth saying that she was sorry that her mother was on doctor's orders not to travel. Is that the, out? They need to not have her parents there. Yes. And that's what they've used before. They when set, only they, the set that, they set that up. Yeah. yeah. Because Rose, the actress actually was on Republic of Doyle at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she was in St. John's. Um, yes. Uh, Lucas already and Julie already do know each other. Oh, Lillian's saying now she needs a cookie. All right, um, Starla. I found something foreboding concerning what Minnie said about Joseph pushing himself so hard, trying to do everything. I wonder if he will be involved in the life and death scenario that Aaron mentioned. I don't know, but where's her father? They He agreed to go into business with. I don't know, but I think he should. And then that would leave an opening for another pastor. What would they do? They'd have to bring in. Maybe they'd reach out and bring back Pastor Frank. Oh, just an idea. Julie is such a breath of fresh air, Martha's saying. Yeah. Oh, the blooper with the hair and the tie. That was cute with look. Yeah. Um, somebody's drinking to that. Um, fans may get their reference about the actress that plays Agatha. Oh, okay. I'll drink to that. Shmugadoon. Shmugadoon. Shmug oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, is it just me or does Hickman Hickam seem to want faith? Yeah, and he wanted to settle. <laughs> yeah, and gave a strange look when Nathan was the, to escort Faith. Oh, I don't know about that. I think she was worried. She knew she knew they needed to make peace and it wouldn't be a good idea. Christina wants more kisses and romance from Lucas and Elizabeth. And Jan says regarding Re Lucas and Elizabeth, I think that Lucas frequent pecs are just in public and when you see the two of them together you'll see more passion right um and then they're they're going back and forth no in my opinion they need more kisses so you're all having your own debate over there that's okay and oh, tanya was addressing lillian okay um all right so before we go any further they're all talking to each other i'm going to show you a picture it is a up close and this is a photograph and don't put your answers in yet. This is my up close photograph of whatever. And let's see on our time. Um, it's uh, what time is it? <laughs> I can't see. 25 on the hour. Okay. So when it's 26 on the hour, put your answer in 26 on the hour, whoever's the first and while you're doing that. I love Starla says, Rosie puts everything in the hope voice. <laughs> Valley voice. So why not her pregnancy? Her mother could find out that way. I know. Don't you love when Jack, I mean, Jack, I keep calling him Jack. When Bill goes to read his newspaper and he sees little boy finds hot springs and all that stuff is there. And he's like grumpy and doesn't want them to come. Yeah. Yeah. All okay, right. First guess uh, 26 is picnic basket. Is that right? Yes, it is. And who is it? Who said picnic basket? Christine Gano. Chris. Okay. She got pick, picnic basket. All right, Chris, you are the winner. And I will send something on your way. And it's not a picnic basket because I was going to do that. And those things are expensive for myself and do a video and put the, and put my, my mock cherry cobbler in there. Not really. I was going to put other stuff, but yeah, those things are expensive. I have one somewhere. I have to go dig it up. Yeah, it is the picnic basket because everybody had one. Yes. All right. Chris is the winner. Okay. I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover. Um, I'm very excited about seeing the 
the baby shower. I think there's going to be some comedic stuff. Anybody else? I'm looking forward to that. I think it'll be fun. I wonder if the guys are going to crash it or um, or have something for Lee. Okay, yes. They, they had something uh, for the wedding. Um, who got married and they had something for the guys and something for the ladies. More than once they did yeah. that. They did it for, and it was hilarious how they would plan the stuff. Um, Joan, I wanted to address something. Actors are often in two series at once. Martin was on Riverdale and Andrea was on Supergirl. The actor who played Lucas's mother could, could do one episode. No, they could not. So they only can do it because it fits into the um, filming schedule. And it didn't. Those, I it, it didn't. They were... It was a demanding schedule for Lucas, for the actress Tyrell and for um, Linda because of the series they were in. They were literally filming at the same time. I would see the, I would see them make their posts like they would work out in the morning, not together. And then they'd say we're on set today. So it was if it's it, they can't if it's if like Luke. OK, Chris McNally was on some other series. While this for uh, when calls the heart, but when calls the heart just ended and he had a boom go into the next one. There was no break, but you can't when there's a conflict, it's not happening. And especially for Republic of Doyle, she was she was all the way in St. John's. You know what I mean? Like filming day after day after day and that that's what happened. OK, um, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Sorry, my comments don't seem to be going through, but I did enjoy the discussion. Okay, we didn't see any of your comments till now. Hi. Um, Rona's looking for more um, Mike Lucas interaction. I agree, Rona. It's so funny. Yes, they did. Virgin River has an intense filming schedule. You are correct. Um, to me, it looks like the baby shower is in the cafe. It is. And you notice people were wondering if it would change the name, but it's, it has a big sign. It's still Abigail's. I also noticed not much interaction this season with Henry and Lucas. That's true. He's, he's, he's away from everybody. The only person he is, his scenes have mostly been with Bill, even his important scenes. And then Joseph saying, you know, I'm going to come every day. Yeah. So there, there'd be no reason for the men to bust in. Oh, <laughs> even Kevin McGarry had to miss some days on set to film Wedding Veil Expectations. They block films some, yeah, some of his scenes. This is true. But again, not for, um, like, he's a, a main character. They would figure that out. But yeah, it's hard. It's very hard to do. The two scenes. Who knows what's happening with the book wagon? Nothing, Avis. It's going to wind up being that mystery for now. Like the whole, um, what was in the in the gift that Lucas gave to uh, <laughs> to Allie. What do you want to say, Missy? Nothing. All right. I'll Looking forward to next week. We are. We are. We are. We are. All right. Have a good one, everyone. You'll join us, Gail Taylor, next week. See you next week. Bye.